Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. Today we're bringing you a Kickstarter preview of Ascension Tactics Inferno from Stoneblade Entertainment. And I do have some caveats I need to set the stage with. Uh -oh. First off, we do, we are doing some sponsored content with Stoneblade. How dare you. I don't remember at 3 a.m. in the morning if that sponsored content was a preview or a gameplay. But the caveat that I need to tell you yeah. is that we have just spent the last <laughs> six hours diving we, into the non original core box, <laughs> diving into Inferno, yeah. playing multiple gameplays, yeah, recording four. multiple videos. Yeah. We have had an absolute <laughs> blast. And so for those of you that are skeptics, that don't like seeing that little ping up in the top corner of the YouTube video that says, hey, this is advertisement. Yeah. I hear you. And also, and also, I've had too much fun with this to not be excited about Absolutely. it. So Absolutely. So I'm sorry, but that's going to be the, the theme of this video, yeah. Ascension yeah. Tactics. Hey, wait, I'm, I'm unbiased. Hey, hey, So for the record, yeah, this is Board Game Dave. Yeah, I'm Dave. Well, sorry, this is Dave from Board Game Dave. That's Dave, me. if you want to introduce yourself. I'm Dave from Board Game Dave. From Board Game yeah. Dave. If you also want to become a Dave, please swing over to uh, Board Game Dave. And subscribe to Dave over there from on Board Dave. Yes, Board unbiased Dave. content, by the way, just saying. Yeah. Just I saying. mean, you're, you're, you're with me. Yeah, so although, you, hey. You look shady. You know what my bias is. What is your bias? I don't like this kind of game. Mm. Right? We'll talk about them. Mm. But th when I see this, my instinct is, oh, I don't want to yeah. play that. We'll, we'll get to some opinions and stuff at the yeah. end of this. It, this is not a review video, though. This is a preview oh. video. So let's give them a breakdown, an overview, a structure sure. of what Ascension Tactics is. Cool. And since you are the most awake at the moment, <laughs> I'm going to toss it over to you. Board Game Day. Sure. Take the show. Take a little break. Take yeah, a little break. Yeah, All right. Yeah. So I wonder so relax. Relax. if I can reassemble my starting deck a tiny bit here. So in this game, where should I even start? Who are we? We are these, oh gosh, these epic god slayers, I think is the term. And we are, it's in the rule book. Yeah. And we're out here uh, slaying each other, defeating each other, trying to kill these fallen heroes. We have been summoned to this ethereal realm in the original Ascension, Ascension Tactics. A, you're brought here universe. by, yeah, you're brought here to a pocket universe by a deity itself who has yes. lost faith in the gods that once ruled the realms of men, and you are now fighting for the right to become the new deities, the new uh, gods amongst the universes Absolutely. that exist. You yes. will control the fractures in the, in the space time continuum. I don't know if that's actually the word, but that's it right. felt powerful. That's what it is. However, here in Inferno, everything has been crumbled. The veil has been ripped off. Everything instead of you know being summoned yeah. to a location where you're fighting for the dignity and survival of humanity and, and all the creatures that exist, yeah. you were found. You have found yourself in the chasm, in the chasm, fiery pits of hell. Yes. And you are now fighting to reclaim this realm that once was a beautiful Garden of Eden, right? And is now an Look inferno, oh. blazed full of destruction, full of the fallen and the decrepit. Oh, and you get to take so advantage. Fun. You get to oh. utilize those creatures to to wreak vengeance across the land. Absolutely. The god you once trusted is actually the deceiver, the great uh, the great mischief himself. Yes. That's exactly right. And I'm going to take a break. Wow. That, break. that was, that it. was, was it. epic. That was it. I used space-time continue in there, which yeah. is really not what you should do. Sure. It's too cliche. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. I thought that was that. Very, very good. Uh, so there's your theme. That's everything you need to know. So we are, and I'm not sure why we're duking it out, but it doesn't matter, right? What? Well, we're fighting, we're we are fighting to control this realm. Okay. Each other? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For one sure. of us is For the bad sure. guy. My faction is, is trying to establish control and dominance. Your faction is trying to do the same thing. Right, right. 100%. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Mechanics-wise, this is a deck-building game uh, that also incorporates miniatures, uh, troops on the map. Okay? So, at the beginning of the game, you start with a very simple five, uh, sorry, ten-card deck. And you've got eight of these cards that give you runes, and you've got two of these cards that give you control. So, what are you going to do with these resources? Your runes are going to let you buy cards from the market. Now, some of them are heroes, which you can play on your card or play on your turn for no cost. They yeah. give you abilities, do some cool stuff. You're also going to get some champions potentially uh, that go into your uh, yeah onto the board out there. You control them, you command them, you do attacking and movement, all that stuff. I should probably caveat and say if this is for Inferno, I don't think there are champions in the deck. We have all the champions that there are. But I'm not sure about that, because we are also working with a prototype. That's true. There is Which a is one scenario. chance more things will be revealed. Yeah. And Probably so the scenario we have is focused around upgrading the heroes we have. Yes. And Into not around actually purchasing new champions. Right. However, right. if you have original Ascension Tactics, right. you can mix these champions into your deck. 
and we did. Now, this is a standalone though, so if you're only getting this, I would venture to guess, because all we have is a prototype, right. there is more around the corner, and I can't probably wait to see what it is. Champions. I'm gonna go on the journey with you all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am probably more champions. Backing this game. Okay. Yeah. The other thing you might find in here are constructs. Constructs are things that you're going to uh, assign to your champions that's gonna make them stronger, let them move more, let them give abilities when they slay other uh, deities and such. Mm -hmm. Really, really powerful things. So, that's what you're doing with your currency. You're buying cards, you're putting them in your hand. Typically, they go into your discard, they cycle through. You know how deck builder yeah. works. Then you play those cards, okay? The control. This is where we start looking at this board. So, as you spend your control, you're going to use that control to spend them to trigger your champions. They yeah. each have a variety of costs. So, two, three, up to four, or five, whatever. And nearly everyone has a unique ability yeah. as well. Yeah, Which they're changes the puzzle that you're playing yes. with. It does give you some starting hands. Yeah. But you could draft them if you wanted. If you wanted mm -hmm. to like set up the type of... If you, if you yeah. didn't want the pugs. Yeah. They're yeah. adorable. <laughs> They're kind of useless. Right. So we played this three times back to back. And at this point, we might want to try drafting and see yeah. if we can figure out yeah. how to balance it. Because yeah, who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's not balanced. None, neither of us like the pugs. We don't know. We think they need more movement, for yeah. the record. Yeah. We think they need one more piece of movement. They're weak. We These are the pugs. They need to be fast. This is this was this was Jesse's character. So <laughs> what am I doing here, right? Cute pugs, mech with a s eight foot sword. <sighs> so. If you've ever seen a pug versus a machine gun, yeah, it's, you know yeah, the ending. Yeah. Gatling story. gun. What? Yes. It's <laughs> anyway, a lot of squealing. Anyway, anyway. <clears throat> so what was it? Where was I? Control. As you control your I think troops, you're at the point okay. where their curly tails make great targets. <laughs> Putting this away. Okay. okay, great. As you spend your control, you get to deploy and then move and attack your troops. So yep. we travel up to three spaces typically, right? We attack adjacent troops. We look at each other's combat strengths and our HP. If you can defeat that uh, HP, of course, they're defeated, they're exhausted, they go back, you have to get redeployed. Yep. You lose your constructs, those upgrades that you worked so hard for, they go away. It's extraordinary. There's treasures on the map. We didn't talk about this too much, but these treasures have things like extra strength, extra defense, little bit extra strike move. back, extra movement. Yeah, and you can play this at any time, which is really cool. They can cool. really shift the tide of battle. 100%, yeah. yeah. And when you go to attack somebody who has four treasure tokens in their, in their pile, you have no idea what they've got. And you're thinking, man, I don't know if I want to risk this, because they yeah. probably have all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. Treasure tokens are great. Um, in our scenario here, uh, of course, we are trying to I think overarching always. You're trying to surround these spires. What are they called? Structures. Shrines. Every time these shrines, right? Because at the end of your turn, if you have the most units, most miniatures around a shrine, you get two points for each shrine that you control. Majority of, right? Uh, in this case, we also have this other objective, which is kind of scenario specific, where there's four beacons: one, two, three, four around the board, right? If you can be the first person to trigger each of the four beacons by just crossing over them yeah. at once, you get 10 points. It means you're really dominating the field. You're crushing. Now, we have played other scenarios that have things like portals that open up gates, yes, that have different yes. zones to control, that have forest regions that start spawning and despawning across the board. Yeah. Like, okay. There's some so, cool stuff. And we were just getting started with, with the base game. We were on There's a two. whole campaign you could go through, yeah. which I'm now really interested in. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be epic. We should say that the game is a race to 30. It seems like that's always yeah. seems yeah. to be the, the end game uh, criteria so far. Uh, yeah, and you're just trying to race to control those locations, activate the beacons, get your points, move your troops around. It, it's epic. It's great. So information that you need to know for, for this Kickstarter. Yeah. Uh, first off, playing off of an IP that already exists, Ascension Tactics, yeah. has an existing world, has an existing card game. They're going to be playing with that and bringing those cards into the miniature world, yeah. uh, into this into this skirmish game. Uh, the original uh, has been received to high acclaim, already been delivered. Uh, I hope that they have a dual pledge that allows you to get both of them yeah, because I think cool. there's going to be people That'd that are looking cool. for that. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to uh, the company, Stoneblade, they're also going to be the publishers of a little game called Soulforge Fusion. Oh, ah, yeah. Uh, cool. This is a very cool game that allows you to like merge and mix decks together. Yeah, so they have a history yeah. of really good strategic card play, mm -hmm. strategic deck building, yeah. uh, beautiful artwork across all yeah, I love things. it. I love it. Uh, yeah. And when it comes to uh, Inferno itself, this is a standalone mm -hmm. within the genre. So if you just yeah. want to get the base game, if you don't need all the extra fancy little bits and pieces and components that get mixed in here, mm -hmm. Inferno is going to be probably where you should start. Yeah. And I think that's I think that's where I'm going to stand. Yeah. I like what the original has done a lot. Mm -hmm. But the ability to like flip cards, upgrade characters, yeah, some of the sick. new uh, some of the new conditions that they're introducing, mm -hmm. I think they're only improving upon the system that they already have. Right, so if you right. get the original, 
I would get the original to supplement and enhance what is so good about Inferno. Right, right. If you just have a budget, if you're looking to just back one thing, you know, one core game, yeah. I think Inferno is where you where you start. Is Inferno a smaller package than the original? Because the original the, right here, big box. The prototype tons of seems to be. Okay. But I'm not entirely sure. Now right. in the era of post COVID, yeah. we are looking at smaller box games. Right. More right. retail accessible games mm -hmm. yeah. being a thing that's coming into into market. I'm wondering if this is the jaws of the line. Makes it, the makes it easier small. to ship, makes yeah. it easier to deliver. Portable. But we small. really have no information around that. Okay. Right. So we can only Sorry. speculate. Uh, I I do think in I do think Inferno is the entry point into the system though. Yeah. 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 Uh, outside of that, any other things we need to let people know from a preview perspective? I know it's not a review. I know it's a preview. My two no cents. Well, oh, so sure let's switch over. I don't want to no, 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 no. Let's switch over. Okay. So we're moving from the preview yeah. to the thing that we acknowledged at the very beginning, which it is almost 3 a.m., yeah. if not already 3 a.m., <laughs> and we have just had a blast Yeah, objectively, we have been having a, a, a ton of fun with this. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, and so now... What do you have to say? Yeah. yeah. I wanted to go back to it because I started by saying this is not my kind of game. Sure. Right? I don't sure. do the miniatures. I don't have... You were actually I, skeptical after the first game. Yeah. I was really tired the first time we played. And I, I, I said it was fun. We, we both agreed that it was, uh, it was fun. The more I play it, the more I like it. Yeah. For sure. It's it's extraordinary. You just feel so cool when you get these combos that chain off each other. We didn't talk about synergies, but there's a lot of cards that say if you've already played a card of that type, you get to do this super powerful thing. It gives you the... the One of my favorite things about doing deck building games yeah. is the broken card feel. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. like trying to puzzle out. When I play Euro games, I'm the type right. of person that, that approaches it from the angle of... How can I break it? Yeah. How, how can I find it? that little hanging like doorknob yeah. that just now like no one wants to play with me again because I found that mechanic that works. Right. And maybe it only works one in a hundred times, but it works. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Same thing here with deck building. Mm -hmm. But deck building actually gives you permission to have broken strategies. Yeah. So when you're playing, you'll start getting combinations, powers, and abilities, and you'll feel like you'll feel amazing. Yeah. And the other person is just mortified. At <laughs> What's but the doing? game ends, yeah, and then you switch characters or positions yeah. or redraft yeah. your hand, yeah. like we've been doing all night. Right, you play again, yeah, and you get the other person gets a chance to do that. Yeah, like I had, I lost horribly. <laughs> Should we say the score? I it's lost. Really you can say the score if you want. I lost so badly, <laughs> multiple brutal. times. And I had so much fun playing. Yeah, yep, yep. And I didn't do well this last game. You know, yeah. I, we switched, and I, I found that I just now you didn't get do as bad as me. That's true. I, I was competitive, but still lost sure. by a lot, sure. and still had fun, and still had moments where I was yeah. like, "This churn is incredible." We talked about upgrading your your characters, right? I have this lady, uh, Amora, we were calling her, right? A, a woman with a ponytail and a gun, maybe. And then all of a sudden, you you look away for a second, and she's this mech powerhouse. My guy reading a book turns into this epic, oh gosh, unleashed, I don't even, Demogorgon sort of mm -hmm. thing. It's 18 arms and things. It's insane. It's so, so cool. Occult magic. That's yeah. so cool. And the whole game, you and I were both, like, the main priority is how do we flip our things to the other side? Like, my whole strategy is I just want to meet that criteria yeah. so I can flip this thing and have this extraordinary yeah. evolution thing happen. It's like, you know, like, like Pokemon. All of a sudden, whoa, where'd that come from? It's yeah. sick. Really cool. So... It's too yeah. late at night. Uh, it's, you know, we've had too much fun yeah. <laughs> uh, to give you anything other than this video. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Now, the final caveats. Sure. If you've watched to this point and you're trying to decide if this is the right game for you, mm -hmm. you really need to ask yourself two core questions. Okay. Do you like deck building? Yes. Do you like skirmish? Mm -hmm. At all. If you don't like any deck building games, this Ugh. is not going to change the conversation for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. If you don't like miniatures based skirmish games, this is not going to change the conversation for you. However, it might. It might. You think it might? It might. You still think it might? It, because it's powered by board deck game, building. Board Game Dave is, is neutralizing my, my argument against this. Do you have any arguments against this? Why should people not back this? It can be swingy. Sometimes it, it can be. Sometimes you had no control. There was no. There was nothing I could have done. My cards didn't come out the right way. They just didn't sink. And the That's other fair. person, every card was just boom. You, we had that one game where every single yeah. one of my turns was twenty-two cards, and then your turn was oh, I guess I had to. You get cards, the, you so. get the system up and running faster than your opponent. You yeah. can just. You can just speed yeah. to victory. You can luck into an insane victory. Yeah. But that's that's few and far between. I think. I think yeah. this balance is you know it's it's a deck builder. It happens sometimes. 
Uh, it's a lot of reading, of course. These, these kind of games, you need okay. to, every single card you need to keep uh, pay attention to. Okay, this guy's neither of us are the like strongest this. in that. It turns out we're not. Yeah, yeah. So maybe that's another thing if you don't like reading a whole bunch of abilities and keep track of stuff. But beyond that, I really don't have too many negatives. It's it really really plays well, and we we've just scratched the surface of what's mm -hmm. in this game. And, and I want to play through the campaign. Yeah, I really yeah, do. And I think so she, I think Sure will actually really enjoy this. Yeah, this nice. is one that I want to get to the table with her now. Cool. Uh, and I, for the record. Didn't like, I didn't have a copy of the Kickstarter edition of this for yeah. the last year or so. Yeah. Like, I followed back up with Stoneblade, and I was like, "Hey, I remember covering this. Uh -huh. I was really excited about it. I remember it being good. Would you happen to be able to like find and send me a Kickstarter edition of this?" Yeah. And they did. They were they were able to get one into my hands. And yeah. as we started playing, like that original core game uh -huh. to refresh on what Inferno was doing, I was like, "Man." I remember the prototype being so cool <laughs> yeah, and yeah. me being so excited about it, and this is why. Yeah. Like, yep. I literally told you during the gameplay, this is one of those games, I need to write a note uh -huh, to right. remind myself to play this in, you know, November this year mm -hmm. so that I can recall what this game is yeah. for the end of the year cycle. For your top 10s, Because we're going to play best hundreds games. of games between now and the end of the year. Yeah, don't forget about this one. And yet, at the same time, yeah. Ascension, to, like... This is one of those that needs to be in the conversation. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's really good. It's cool. really good. All right. Thanks for being here. Uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.